Hello, 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 and welcome to my apartment, ladies and gentlemen. Humble, humble beginnings for SAU fourth round draft pick of the Chicago Bears. I got my first check, man. My signing bonus check, it just got here, and you know I had to spend some money, so I got me this apartment. And I know what you think. Hey, it's okay if it's small. It's downtown, so you're in the right location. Nah, you got it twisted. I moved to the outskirts of Chicago. Housing is a lot cheaper out there. Living is a lot cheaper out there. And again, I'm a fourth round draft pick, so I'm not balling, you know, by any means. But I sent most of my check back home, you know, to the family so they can get some money, you know, so they can pay their bills and stuff like that. But this is the first time in my life I can just focus on football. And while I'm focusing on football, the whole state of Illinois, the whole city of Chicago is focused on football too, even though the Bulls are in the playoffs. Now, Cedric Benson, he's been on my mind and he's been on the TV ever since I've got here. Everybody's talking about Cedric Benson this, Cedric Benson that. It's a little bit frustrating. It gets on my nerves just a little bit. But then I watch his highlight tapes as they rolling them as they're talking about him. And I realize this dude was a, was a pretty special back. So them comparing him to Walter Payton and Gail Sayers, it's deserve, it, it, he has deserved it. You know, he has earned it. So at the end of the day... I'm getting these text messages and stuff like that. Got my new smartphone. You know, I don't feel like I'm rich now, even though my money don't compare to uh, Cedric Benson's. But at the end of the day, people are still sending me their wishes and their prayers and all their positive thinking. And they're talking about me just like the Chicago area media is talking about Cedric Benson. People are like, man, David Carter, you done put the team on your back last year. We got to a bowl game because of you, man. And, of course, I'm trying to stay hungry and humble. So I'm saying, nah, it was a team thing. Football's the ultimate team sport. But it has me thinking. For the people that know me, they know I'm destined to be great. So anyways, man, I get a call from Cedric Benson himself. He's like, hey, man, get dressed, put on your finest clothes. And he clowns me. He's like, I know you ain't got a lot. So maybe I'll buy you an outfit too. But he was just saying, yo, meet me. At the Bulls game, I got a ticket for you and all the other rookies, my treat. So I'm like, all right, man, I'll be there. So I'm thinking, you know, maybe Cedric Benson, he's reaching out. Yeah, he clowned me a little bit, but, you know, I got, th I got thick skin, so it doesn't really bother me. But I'm thinking, maybe he is taking that first step to bring all the rookies together. To maybe even bring this whole team together and stop being so divided. So we're watching the Bulls game, and the crowd's going crazy. They recognize Cedric Benson. They don't recognize uh, any other rookie, so he's getting all the fame and all the glory and stuff like that. And I'm watching the game, and I realize we are in the house that Jordan built. And yet Jordan, he gets credit for all the six championships that Chicago Bulls won. But we all know that Scottie Pippen helped out. It wasn't like Scottie Pippen was some chump. So I'm thinking to myself, if we can put our differences aside, Maybe me and Cedric Benson can coexist and actually work together to help our team become the best team that we can possibly be. Yeah, that sounds good to me. That sounds exactly what this team needs because our offense is not doing too much. So me and Cedric Benson, if we can put our differences aside, we can be that one-two punch. Man, oh man, I can't wait for training camp. Training camp is finally here. We finally get to put on the pads and we finally get to take out some of this pent up frustration. Oh, I can't wait, man. But you know me, I'm running with the two. Cedric Benson, he's in there with the ones. He's looking pretty good. Got number 32 on and stuff like that. His college number. I can't wear my college number because I wore 13. But hey, it's all good. I'm rocking number 21. But Cedric Benson, he ain't like this right here, man. After this, he asked for a sub. And I'm like, really, dude? You got to come out because Brian Erlacher hit you? But then I thought about it. When I was at SAU, I ain't faced nobody like Brian Erlacher. So maybe, just maybe, Brian Erlacher is really that good. And maybe I don't want none of that either. But then Cedric Benson, he gets back in and he takes off for another big run. Game's about 10 right there. But then it's my time. It's my time to shine. I bounce it to the outside. And I get smacked. I don't even know who number 52 is. I know that's not Brian Erlacher. But he done, br he done brought the wood to me. Very next play though, I find a hole and I'm up that gut. And I'm telling you, man, I'm I'm freaking loving it. I'm out here showing people what I can do. And then Rex Grossman, he didn't show me what he can do. I thought it was just going to be me and Cedric Benson carrying the rock. But nah, uh-uh. He's actually showing me that he can throw this football too and get the ball downfield. But this is Chicago, man. This is the monster of the midway. This is ground and pound. We play in the black and view division. So I know Rex Grossman, he looking good in practice. But like a great point guard once say. 
practice. We talking about practice. Anyways, Rex Roseman looking again, take a shot at deep. He don't get that thing complete, and he gets hurt on the play. Hurts his chest. I'm like, come on, coach. We can't let our quarterback get hurt. But now I'm like, it's my time. The backup quarterback is in. Defense is still talking stuff. Let me get this thing going in the right direction. Look at that spin move I put on dude, and then I get smacked. My, oh my. So I replay that play back in my head. I'm like, that was a nice play. I did a spin move at the right moment. But where did this dude come from? Where did 97 come from? My goodness, he hit me hard. But hey, it's all good. So they passed the ball. But I'm the primary receiver. And I'm showing them I can catch too. So I'm doing work, man. I'm so excited to be here in Chicago. So excited to be able to actually put on a uniform for the first time. Take on some opponents, even though they're my teammates. But at least be out here and show the coaches that, you know what, you guys made the right decision by picking me in the fourth round. Now, there we go again. And yet again, I'm getting smacked. I haven't even got hit by Brian Erlich, so I don't even know what that feels like yet. But all I know is that this is my time, man. I can't wait for the preseason.